you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Do this, Jesus said, and you will live. Luke 10, verses 27 and 28. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. John 13, verse 34. But to you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who hurt you. Luke 7, verses 27 and 28. But anyone who hates a fellow believer is still living and walking in darkness. Such a person does not know the way to go, having been blinded by the darkness. 1 John 2, verse 11. We love each other because He loved us first. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? And He has given us this command, those who love God must also love their fellow believers. 1 John 4 verses 19 through 21. Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Colossians 3 verse 13. But if you do what is wrong, you will be paid back for the wrong you have done. For God has no favorites. Colossians 3 verse 25. Instead, be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God through Christ has forgiven you. Ephesians 4 32. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height. For the Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. There is no longer Jew or Gentile, slave or free, male or female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3, verse 28. My dear brothers and sisters, how can you claim to have faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ if you favor some people over others. Doesn't this discrimination show that your judgments are guided by evil motives? James 2 verses 1 and verses 4. Look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. John 7 verse 24. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Matthew 28, 19. And after this, I saw a vast crowd, too great to count, from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. Revelation 7, verse 9. So God created human beings in His own image. In the image of God, He created them. Male and female, He created them. Genesis 1 verse 27. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10 verses 12 and 13. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interest, but take an interest in others too. Philippians 2 verses 3 and 4. We know what real love is because Jesus gave up His life for us. So, we also ought to give up our lives for our brothers and sisters. 1 John 3 verses 15 and 16 For God was in Christ, reconciling the world to Himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. And He gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5, verse 19. O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what He requires of you, to do what is right, 
to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Micah 6 verse 8.